good morning Woo! what's happening how are we all happy sunday last week's video actually was scheduled it actually did go up at eight o'clock on sunday morning which was brilliant so hopefully we can do the same with this week uh last week i think i said that i was going to get it edited so i didn't have to do the mad saturday evening edit and upload rush uh that didn't happen <laughs> but we can try for this week this morning you cannot see me there we go this morning um i'm just heading to feed a new baby calf i'm pretty sure he sucked the cow last night but i want to make sure that he gets all his right colostrum today again no idea what we're doing but as always we'll bring you with me and hopefully keep you entertained While that is warming up, I thought we could chat because some of the feedback um, on a couple of my other YouTube videos was that you wanted to hear me talk a little bit more, which I mean, I find extraordinary. I'm pretty sure uh, everybody else in my like real life will find extraordinary also because I never shut up. But <laughs> if you want to hear me talk, then that's fine. So this morning's calf was actually supposed to be a heifer calf. Yeah, it was sort of sex semen. If you're not aware of what sex semen is, it is whenever semen is taken off the bull and then it gets split, goes into a machine um, and it gets split into all the X's and all the Y's and then obviously the Y's go to make the bull calves, the X's go to make the heifer calves. I mean, here we go back to our science, but all of your eggs are all X's um, and then your sperm can either be X's or Y's. Sex semen is meant to be sorted, which means it's meant to only have X semen in it. Uh, sometimes the little Y's slip through and when the little Y's slip through you end up with a bull calf. So that's what we had this morning. He is massive <laughs> but we're going to get him fed and he'll be very happy. We'll look at him. On the topic of calves and breeding and semen I've had a couple of questions over on Instagram asking about the farm's breeding policy and kind of how I suppose we get the calves on the ground the calves that we want on the ground so basically this farm is kind of pushing more towards an autumn calving system as I said before it's a new start and I feel like in a new start you kind of just have to do whatever works for a while before you can really start making big changes so as i say pushing more towards an autumn calving system which means that when you're planning the breeding you want to have all of your heifer calves or as many of your heifer calves as possible being born in the autumn time because obviously then they get around to being two-year-old um, in autumn 2022 and then that means they can calve in at that time as well so they're calving in autumn so then their calves will calve in autumn if that makes sense so for the first part of breeding we use sex semen sex semen as i said before guarantees 90 ish percent heifers and then the rest of the cows or anything that isn't getting sex semen will get beef semen um you know anything that maybe isn't great on components or isn't great on leaders the kind of cow that you don't particularly want to have um the next generation out of they'll get beef so as i say for the first part everything will get sex semen so these are all heifer calves these will all calve in in autumn 2022 on this farm anything that is a heifer calf gets a white tag like i said before um so if you ever see them in the background they're all heifers Taken down last week um, before we can go get 
Springers Inn. Obviously, they need to walk around the lane, um, and there is currently no fence around a part of the lane. We need to go. So we've got the wire tightened back up again now, I just need to tighten it before we try to bring um, heifers past it because heifers are opportunists and any chance you give them to try and run away, they will. <laughs> Just realized I never actually explained what we were doing or why we were doing it and I know I'll get annoyed at myself whenever I come to edit this and I haven't explained it so what is happening today is we've moved the heifers um, off the bit of ground they were grazing and we moved them over onto the cow grazing platform and um, the cows went inside full time probably about a week ago and they left quite a bit of cover on the grazing platform um, I mean it got very wet very quick and then with obviously like I was saying with the cows kind of moving towards that autumn calving there's a lot more fresh cows um, and this time of year there's very little power in the grass very little um, nutritional benefit I suppose to the cow especially a cow that's like fresh calved and really needs quite a lot of energy so they're all in the house so rather than try and kind of in and out and bring them in and out and kind of upset those cows that are fresh calved uh, we just brought the heifers and the heifers will do a little bit of grazing not too much obviously you want to close up in autumn um, you don't want to be bare of grass but you don't want to have um, a big mat of grass either so the heifers are going to come in um, and they'll graze off a little bit just to keep it tidy um, before they come in they're coming in the end of the month anyway but three extra weeks around this platform um, should hopefully keep it nice and keep it in good shape for springtime so next on the agenda we have some springing heifers to bring in i think there's maybe six or seven of them hopefully they just run straight in would it be uh, would it be possible to have two separate batches of heifers run into the shed without problem in the same day who knows I'm just going to chase the further off um, springers back out again. They're getting to stay out for a bit longer. Whew. And in good old Northern Irish fashion, 
it starts to rain. Good job, we're done. And just to keep them friendly for the next time we have to bring them in, um, I'm going to throw them a little bit off nuts. If I can ever manage to get through a very wet gap without losing my welly bit. <laughs> Uh, well, it's not me for the day. I have to go milk cows, but it's me for YouTube for the day. But yeah, as I said before, thank you so much to every single person who watches, subscribes, likes, comments. Um, I love replying to the comments. I always spend a bit of time um, on a Sunday morning replying back. So I'd love it if you dropped a little comment down below. But I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.